<clears throat> so I'm here to talk about the updates in framework. Framework, uh, framework is something we call as actually developer tool, but we are including it in ERP Next because a lot of what framework makes happen is actually impact in ERP Next. And while, so, so over the last couple of years, I think we have had a lot of this uh, dilemma about what is framework and you know, how do we take it forward. Because ERP Next is such a stable product now, like any change you make to the framework has, uh, has huge implications. And we have been uh, really wondering about what the future of framework is. I think the whole direction of what is the future of framework started with the creation of Rapid Books at some point to explore a different UI paradigm. Uh, so I'm, I'm just here to show you like what, what we have been working on and all the dilemmas that we have kind of hit in the last year or so. So this is one feedback that uh, you know, we received uh, in, in our churn that ERP Nix is the most frustrating open source software I've ever used. And uh, you know, I'm like, you know, Frappe Cloud, whatever, and then so you should take a page from Zoho and you know, learn how UI UX should be done, right? And we took this to heart, right? I mean, we, are, we agree with this, by the way, that you know, ERP Nix is very overwhelming and it is very frustrating to use, like, until you get it. Like, and, you, and the point at which you get it is when you start to learn uh, use, to use the awesome bar, right? Once you start using the awesome bar, then it is very easy. But until you figure that out, like it's, the, the navigation is extremely hard. And the reason why ERP Next is uh, overwhelming is that there is no uh, information hierarchy. Like because the, like the whole framework is structured around this idea of doc type, it, it does not have a very clear hierarchy, even though we have modules. Like modules are not first class in ERP Next. They are just there. And then we had something we had, something uh, you know we call a workplace. So, Let's quickly look at how the desk front end evolved, right? This is version seven. Uh, this, this used to be the desk and you know, iPads were out and you know, this made a really nice uh, hierarchical screen of you know, now you can have beautiful icons that you can pick and get into a module. Somehow we, we were not very happy with desk for whatever reason, uh, the iconic desktop. And then we kind of had this kind of uh, weird kind of mutation of the iconic desktop, which is maybe now we have sections for uh, different uh, categories. Uh, then we, in version 15, version 14, I think we came out with this uh, workspace that like nobody knows what the home screen should look like, right? So let people design their homes, own home screens. And we came out with this really basic default home screens for everybody. And uh, then we also introduced a sidebar where you know you can switch through different workplaces. So now you have uh, modules, you have doc types in your workspaces, and there is no real correlation uh, in any of those, right? And this, all of this navigation mess is what uh, makes ERP Next very overwhelming to use. Um, so we, we went on multiple uh, projects, right? So this is actually from last year, this is June of 24. So Rucha said, you know, I'm going to rewrite desk, right? We, we've always been wanting to rewrite desk. And uh, you know we'll rewrite it, and, and we'll learn from all the cool things that you know we've been uh, using at Frappe uh, Frappe CRM. So this was what that desk rewrite project looked like. Like every module, and this was built in Vue.js using Frappe UI components. Like the idea was okay. Now we have Frappe UI, we have Express. So why not bring it to framework? Because you know no point having two different front end libraries. And this this was a project she started, and then somehow we realized that the direction in which this is going, like why not take it? Like if you're doing a rewrite. Like, why not just do a very, very big rewrite? Like, let's rethink how we do front ends, right? Why, why, why do we want to again reuse the same components? And then we said, let's go one level deeper and build Studio, right? And Studio is actually the future of framework, but this you'll, you'll hear about Studio tomorrow. But this was the experiment we did last year to ki kind of bring uh, Frappe UI front end to desk uh, and the framework. And this is what the CRM screen looks like. Uh, you know, we, we somehow polished this screen over the last year. Uh, I think it looks really cool, you know, again, thanks to uh, Timeless and Sandeep, Sandeep is here. And uh, so we, we have this uh, really cool uh, polished looking UI. We have really nice forms and, you know, we have a consistent sidebar and the sidebar is limited, right? What you realize is when you're looking at one module, you have limited sidebar, but ERP Next has 500 objects and, you know, it's really hard to navigate without it. Yeah, and then you know, that was the studio. So there was one big problem in version 14, right? Is that if you look at the traditional way uh, the, the user attention goes across the screen, it starts from the top left and then it goes 
uh, right ways and it goes downwards, right? Uh, and the version uh, 15 had a major problem. I hated this. Like the title is on the left, and all the imp important stuff you see is actually useless stuff, right? The, uh, the assigned to and created and filters, right? You don't want to see this, right? You want like this. This this really triggered me, right? Because it doesn't seem right this gap. And so uh, yeah, this is 15 list you. So we. We try to bring in, uh, you don't see the colors here, the grays, but we try to bring the same paradigm that we had in Frappe CRM and uh, uh, to, to ERP Next now. So, the, so now we have like, the title and the details that are aligned and all the useless information goes, like not useless, but like not so frequent information that details go on the right side. Uh, and then you know, we have the form view, which is also the same problem, again, you know, the same problem with the list and the form. I think, yeah. So this is what the current experiment looks like. Uh, I mean, this, this comes about with a lot of detail, and I think Sakib comes out with the idea that, hey, why not just do it in desk, right? Why not just create the module shell, but not using Frappe UI, just using the standard components, obviously so that you can reuse all your client scripts and other customizations on top of it. So this is what uh, the proposed version 16 front end looks like. So every module will now, every workspace will have its own sidebar, where you can, you, you get a very contained feeling that you are, you are within one module. And then you can go to the desktop and, uh, you know, you can go to different modules. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and you are not restricted, like users is not a module, but uh, you know, you can create now new structures like ERP Next is now broken down into simpler apps. So this is the direction we're going. This is still very unfinished. Uh, we just wanted to show it for the demo. And hopefully before version 16 release, we'd be way more polished, but this is the general direction. So yeah, nothing is happening. We are con continu continuing with the desk. You know, as I call, the desk is dead. Long live the desk. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.